Rudy. Thank you, Lou. Thank you, Bill. Thank you, Bill, very, very much. He's our counsel in the state of New Hampshire, and Lou is my counsel overall because there are going to be a lot of implications from this case, as you can tell. It has a great deal of room for expansion because a lot of people helped Joe Biden with this uh, terrible lie that he told. Uh, Joe Biden has spent his life telling lies, getting away with it. Now he gets away with it because you let him get away with it. Uh, you foisted it on us, I mean the press, an American president who is a pathological liar. Uh, that has implications for national security. As a result of Joe Biden's lies, people have died. Uh, would there be a war in Ukraine if, if Donald Trump were president? Absolutely not. Uh, Putin invaded Ukraine and Georgia three times. One time with Biden, one time with Obama, one time with Bush. Only time he didn't, Trump was the president. Afghanistan. So in some ways, the damage done to me is less severe. He didn't get me killed, although I have been death threats. Uh, his lies uh, cost me a good deal of my law practice. It cost me uh, directly uh, a good deal of my million-person audience on uh, Common Sense, where I was cut off by YouTube, which operates as a uh, co-conspirator in another conspiracy of Biden's, which is to suppress free speech. Um, it cost me clients in my consulting business. I haven't calculated the amounts. We can do that later, but it's in the millions and millions of dollars. Being called a Russian pawn and being called by uh, the leading candidate of the Democratic Party, a facilitator of Russian disinformation, is an extraordinarily damaging thing. It may be that a lot of people don't believe him, but a lot of people do believe him. Go look at the public opinion polls. So those people believed that I was working with Putin. That is 100 percent, 1,000 percent untrue. Not only that, it's been proven untrue. Uh, it was proven untrue by the FBI six months before he said it. It was proven untrue by the FBI again three weeks before he said it. It was proven untrue by seven or eight agencies. And eventually, 16 months later, after they had destroyed my law practice, destroyed my consulting business, gotten me pretty close to bankruptcy, they all admitted that it was a mistake, it was wrong, there was no Russian collusion. The New York Times and the Washington Post had a little article about this big, that they had engaged in vicious, deliberate, horrible lying. But the article was this big and they had already destroyed me by the time they printed it. And what they, what they printed is it was unequivocally untrue. The information comes from a man in Delaware named John Mac Isaacs. He's, um, that has been verified by every federal agency imaginable. It was given to me and my lawyer, Bob Costello, and we gave it to the New York Post that then ended up being censored. First time in the history of America. America's oldest newspaper cut off to tell you that we had a fascist like that is a lie that is false there is no left-wing liar who can change that even the new york times and the washington post acknowledges it there's no way that doesn't do damage that's what's called libel defamation per se and there's no way when you consider that i had a multi-million dollar consulting business a multi-million dollar law practice and already a million dollar radio show and all of them got cut to almost nothing in the wake of that that he owes me a lot of money in a lot of states which is why we're pursuing him and also maybe because i'm so impatient that nobody stands up to this guy they make believe it's about hunter biden it has never been about hunter biden hunter biden is a pawn the big guy the head of the mafia family the head of the crime family is Joe Biden.
and it has been 30 years, and he's taken in well over $50 million in bribes. And it's a disgrace that he's our president, and it's a, more of a disgrace that we do nothing about it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. So why are you bringing this case here? Yeah. Can you explain that, please? Uh, I, maybe Bill could explain it. Bill is our legal expert on New Hampshire, and New Hampshire is a great state to bring this case. And Bill is one of For a lot of reasons. Yeah. Right, right here, Bill. So, certainly, Josh, I have a certain prejudice for New Hampshire people and their ability to discern truth from lies. And so, whatever the legal um, framework would be here, this would be a great state to bring it in. However, the legal framework does allow this type of case. He was talking about, uh, about Hunter Biden getting $3.5 million from Russia, which is now proven from Madame Baterina, who was the wife of the mayor of Moscow, both of whom are very close friends of Putin. Um, and strangely, what did they get in return for the $3.5 million of the Biden family? Madame Baterina is the only Russian oligarch who has no sanctions. So Joe must remember, there's one I got to keep off the list. They gave the family $3.5 million. Gosh almighty, when I was a prosecutor, that was about as straight a bribe case as you could find. We'd have had him prosecuted and in jail four years ago when he came out. As well as Ukraine, where Mr. Zloshevsky says directly to the FBI, they wonder where's the evidence? Right in front of their eyes. Mr. Zloshevsky, the report, in which he says, I gave five million to Hunter and I gave five million to Joe in order to get my case dropped by the Ukrainian government. Joe tells you on tape that he dropped the case. When you hear no evidence, it's really from Orwell's 1984, the Ministry of Truth. The Ministry of Truth was a ministry that made up the lies, that made the words mean the other thing. So when he says there's no evidence, he means there's a lot of evidence. Everything you see is evidence. Evidence isn't um, the proof that you're guilty. Evidence is a fact suggesting you're guilty. For example, when those, um, when those um, uh, IRS agents testified that uh, he didn't pay taxes, that's evidence. When uh, we find a text from Hunter Biden dated January 3rd, 2019, that says Hunter Biden to his daughter, that says, for 30 years, I've been paying the expenses of this family, and they don't respect me. But maybe when you take over, they won't require you, Pop won't require you to pay half your salary to me. That's called evidence. It's called direct evidence. It's evidence from a co-conspirator. It's damning evidence. If I had that, when I was a prosecutor, he'd have been in jail two years ago probably stronger evidence than any RICO case I ever had against him. I never had evidence like this. Well, that's one thing. The other thing is, what he did to me is intolerable. He called me a Russian...